Okay, so the Doom Slayer, one of the most feared humans to ever possibly exist, and SCP-096, one of the sexiest SCPs to ever exist. But who's gonna come out on top in combat? Probably the freaking Doom Slayer, but like, what if the SCP's got some tricks up his sleeves? Today, SCP Explained is gonna answer this riddle for us. I'm freaking excited, dude. Even though the Doom Slayer is probably gonna decimate the crap out of him, most likely. Check out this amazing channel, link down below. Leave a like, subscribe here too, and let's get into it. That's right. It's time once again to activate the famed Anomatron 6000. Oh, damn. A patented machine that definitely wasn't developed in affiliation with Dr. Wondertainment. We swear. Wondertainment is the most suspicious last name I've ever heard. Start, our infamous specialized supercomputer is ready to bring you all manner of improbable scenarios. We'll simulate encounters between the SCP Foundation's various anomalies and any other character from any other universe you Ooh, could possibly Deadpool. imagine. Here's a question for That'd be you. sweet. What do you think would happen if SCP-096, the notorious shy guy, ran afoul of someone he couldn't just kill for daring to look at it? What if the scourge of the underworld, battler of demons, and the devil himself- I feel like 096 is just gonna get SCP angrier and angrier and power up more and more and more. We're about to hit the button and discover like the, the outcome of SCP-096 versus the dreaded Doom Slayer. So he needs bigger heard muscles. The old philosophical debate about a tree falling down in the woods, and whether or not nobody being around to hear it brings into question if it actually happened at all, right? Well, let's reframe that one a little. If an interdimensional rip in the very fabric of the time space continuum opens up in an SCP Foundation secure facility and nobody is around to witness it, does a six foot tall, 360 pound hulking killing machine still emerge to slaughter everything in his path? I gotta it gain more out, weight. He's so yes, much bigger than I yes, am. Yes, he definitely does. Horrified screams and the loud bang of shotgun blasts rang out through the hallway as Foundation researchers ran for their lives. Is he just the massacring the place? just been unceremoniously dropped out of a portal into a strange and unfamiliar environment. Mere minutes earlier, he had been awakened inside a sarcophagus within a facility on Mars in the year 2148. Unfortunately, Doom Guy hadn't had the best start to his day, given that the base he'd woken up in was being overrun by the forces of hell itself. Typical. Thanks to a rogue scientist opening up portals to the underworld and allowing all manner of demonic abominations to come pouring through. So naturally, when another portal brought the armor-clad Demon Slayer to a site run by the SCP Foundation, the intensity of battle had led to the Doom Slayer believing that the unsuspecting staff were actually all demons in disguise. Guys. Oh, damn! And to him, the only good demon is one he got to send back to hell in the most brutal fashion imaginable. Hardcore, dude. Those people had kids. Until he'd torn through wave after wave of Foundation personnel, thinking perhaps if he killed enough, he'd be returned to his previous locale for more demon killing. As the Foundation dispatched its security forces and mobile task forces to take down the unstoppable force of Carnage decked out in head to toe. They really should armor, just send SCPs at people first. They could throw at the Doom Marine was enough to take him down. A hail of bullets rained down on him from the MTF's weapons, ricocheting ineffectually off his protective plating as he continued his assault, remaining tireless thanks to his immense physical conditioning. It'd be so the scary SCP if he got his hands on you. It'd be so scary. <laughs> they assumed him to either be a new undocumented anomaly or a violent and unhinged maniac from the Church of the Broken God. Given his armor resembling cybernetic augmentations and machine parts grafted to his body, along with his arsenal of advanced weaponry, but there were no enhancements, no augmentations made to the Doom Slayer. He may have once been mortal, but centuries of killing demons had allowed him to transcend ordinary human physiology. He did not tire, never lost strength, never needed to eat or drink, and was near enough a mortal. Didn't even need to poop, what a gangster! Unfurling. A solitary researcher had just managed to slip out of the Doom Slayer's reach. He ran as fast and far as he was physically able. The mobile task force troops were getting eviscerated, and the Slayer could easily tear through the whole foundation. Then, fleeing for his life, the researcher had an idea. Either a stroke of genius or total idiocy, and a risky move either way. He would send an anomaly on the Doom Slayer. He turned to the nearest containment cell, a windowless room with a heavy locked door. 
Hurriedly inputting his security clearance code, the researcher heaved the door open and covered his eyes with his arm. It wouldn't have been his first choice of SCP to send into battle. SCP-096's cell was the closest. I guess like the SCP god probably would have been the most ideal. On its misshapen, elongated legs, SCP-096 scanned the area. Alarms were blaring. It was loud and frightening to the timid, albeit terrifying creature. It reached up to cover its ears in bewilderment. Not that the researcher who had freed it could see what it was doing. For one, his eyes were still covered, and for another, he was already dead. Thanks to the Doomslayer barging shoulder first through a nearby wall and raining debris onto the nearby researcher. What a way to go! The visor of his helmet. He died by wall pieces. Heavily, panting but not tiring. As oh he no! The pale, skinny creature in the corridor before him. It was clutching the sides of its head. Its huge jaw hung open. As far as the Slayer knew, he was making progress. His attack was working. He'd killed enough of these demonic imposters that they were starting to reveal their true forms. Although in all his years of bloodshed and being a scourge to the denizens of hell, he hadn't quite ever seen a demon that looked like the Shy Guy. Not that it mattered to Doom Guy. Before long, it'd be dead like all the rest. Like they're the gonna towering, kiss. stick thin creature it. turned to face the armor adorned warrior and shrieked. Immediately overcome with anguish, having a full blown breakdown, as it often did whenever someone looked at it. As the demon killer stomped down the corridor towards it, the Doom Blade, a long, sleek, razor sharp edge extended from the Slayer's gauntlet where it was mounted on his wrist. I gotta give he me a Doom down and Blade! The ripcord on his chainsaw, too. He was long overdue for a glory kill. But before he could strike at SCP 096, the Shy Guy moved with impossible speed faster than even the Doom Marine himself. See, that's the it's thing, 096 the does Marine have some attributes. Than he could perceive. One second SCP-096 was crying and wailing in front of him, then not even a full second later, the creature was towering over Doom Guy from behind. Oh, damn. SCP-096 gripped the Doom Blade and snapped it with ease, what? like breaking a twig before reaching its other long arm down and pulling the chainsaw from Doom Guy's hand. No way! The motorized way. blade was still running as it clattered to the ground, cutting a hole through the floor and falling down into the lower level of the facility. Enraged, as he very often was, the Doom Slayer reached both arms back behind his head and gripped the elongated torso of SCP-096. The virtually immortal killing machine hurled the creature over his head with ease, thanks, of course, to his immense strength. Yeah, dude, Doom 096 is a scrawny bastard. Than most ordinary humans, and carry heavy weapons without tiring. He had even grappled hand to hand with demons. Throwing the Shy Guy down the corridor like hurling a basketball was no trouble for the spacefaring slaughterer of Satan's spawn. Spacefaring Screaming slaughterer! Screaming in pain, SCP-096 crashed to the ground at the far end of the corridor, tumbling over itself thanks to its long limbs before landing in a confused heap. As the Shy Guy reoriented itself, struggling back onto its feet and standing up at its full height, it was instantly knocked back down as the force of something struck it. Barring down on SCP-096, the Doom Machine charged, his signature double-barreled sawed-off shotgun drawn. It was hardly leaving a scratch on scp 096 No way, pale dude, it's skin, barely phasing him! the moderate amount of damage the weapon was capable of. Two shots would ring out, reeling the creature but not harming it. Then, by the time SCP-096 managed to recover from the blast, the Slayer had finished reloading in time to open fire yet again. Even as the Doom Slayer raced nearer, closing the distance between him and what he thought to be another demon for him to kill, the shotgun seemed to have little effect against the Shy Guy at oh, close range. Man. Stowing the weapon, Doom Guy put all of his focus and energy into his charge, heavy boots stomping against the ground as he raced towards the Shy Guy still stunned by the latest shotgun blast. Before the creature could steady itself, this time it was struck by another force, a heavy object barreling towards it. The Doom Slayer shoulder barged SCP-096, sending the pair of them crashing through the nearest wall. Who the hell's gonna they win this, into a though? Neighboring room, with the Doom Slayer keeping a single-armed grip around the Shy Guy, while repeatedly delivering vicious punches to its gut with his other hand, Bro's not just once crying. relenting. SCP-096 screeched in pain, clawing at the Slayer, but unable to tear through his impenetrable armor. Damn. As they crashed through yet another wall, SCP-096 did something it rarely ever did. 
In fact, maybe something it had never ever done before. It ran away from someone that had looked at it. While the creature was deeply That's insecure impossible. and so self-conscious that it would kill anyone who saw so much as a photograph of it, it didn't often feel afraid. But the Doomslayer, this muscle-bound killing machine that had brutally butchered actual demons was so imposing, so threatening, and so effective at dispensing painful punishment that he scared the fight out of SCP-096. Thought to be impossible! With terror, the creature zipped away using its anomalous speed, trying desperately to put as much distance between it and the Doom Marine as it possibly could. But therein lay the problem. Uh -oh. No sooner had SCP-096 gotten away from the scourge of hell than the creature immediately felt the familiar pull. Oh no! Whether it was an inescapable compulsion to kill everyone who looked at it, or the fact of the Shy Guy's biology, it could only distance itself from the Slayer for a few seconds before it reappeared next to him. From the Doom Guy's perspective, it seemed like the creature was intentionally disappearing and reappearing, using its teleportation-like speed to evade a volley of his attacks. That's so confusing! SCP-096 came at him again, stuck in a loop of trying to attack the Doom Slayer for looking at it, to immediately regretting that course of action and fleeing in fear of its hulking, heavy weapon toting This is like target. the last outcome Doom I ever would've thought would happen. <laughs> he had in his arsenal, launching a barrage of high-explosive ordnance from his rocket launcher to try and kill SCP-096. The resulting damage practically reduced an entire wing of the Foundation site to rubble, but still couldn't kill the Slayer. See, 096 could easily Meanwhile, outrun the Doom Slayer, but not if he keeps just getting teleported back. The Doom guy. It managed to rush towards him, swiping the Marine's various technologically advanced armaments out of his hands, before instantly remembering why he was so scared of the green armored force of destruction and dashing away. Doom Guy's supply of weapons had all but depleted. Like Neither they can't he even nor kill each SCP other. SCP 096 were getting tired out by their constant back and forth. They were locked in a stalemate until the Shy Guy tried to get back to its cell. Zipping away once again, it cowered in the corner, reaching for an old, worn out paper bag that had slipped over its head. It sat down, trembling, rocking back and forth. Poor in guy's a having position, a freaking breakdown right now. was terrified. An overwhelming, debilitating fear gripped it. Fear that became pure dread as the sound of heavy boots began to stomp closer and closer. Kicking the steel door off its hinges, the Doomslayer walked into SCP 096's cell carrying a something BFG. huge in his hands. It was one of the most devastating weapons Doom Guy had at his disposal, capable of unleashing untold destruction, Knew the BFG <laughs> 9000. Without remorse, not caring that the creature seemed to have retreated and was cowering away from him, the Slayer raised the powerful weapon and fired an enormous ball of green energy. The blast engulfed the entire room, Tendrils snaking out from the energy projectile, causing additional damage to the surrounding area until there was nothing left of SCP-096. No way! He killed it! Show what? That That's crazy! I guess that makes sense, though. The BFG could destroy just about any life form, but SCPs, they're like, they're specifically SCPs because they don't go by the natural, natural laws of nature. They they supersede it. That was crazy, though, dude. I'm, I'm actually happy it ended with the BFG. That was, like, really cool. That's very pro Doom Slayer. There was no way that scrawny bastard was gonna win. SCP-096 is just a raged out crybaby, but damn, dude. Dude. Either way, leave a like on the video, subscribe for more awesome stuff, check out this channel, link down below, and I'll see you later. <laughs>